Hello guys, KP Shamino here with my first tutorial for Car Mechanic 2021 and I'm going to give you guys 7 tips, beginner tips uh, that make your life a lot easier in the game at the start so I never played car simulators uh, so for me it was very frustrating but with those tips that I show you guys now I think your life will be a lot easier so we are going to start with tip number one and this was a silly one because it took me two hours so what do you need to do so you need to take an order and if you take an order you're outside your garage and I was thinking how do I need to get the car into the garage uh, so yeah I thought by myself yeah maybe I need to drive that's always possible so you just can start the car here but it seems not to work I cannot drive in my garage so after a couple of hours I did this so what you need to do is you just right click on the car you just move the car you click here and now your car is inside and you can work on the car uh, it's very silly but yeah therefore it's a beginner's guide so that was tip number one the second tip that I want to give you guys, and it's a very cool feature, I didn't know about it. Uh, so if you don't know a lot about cars, uh, this is very handy. So it's called, if you right click on your car once again, it's called examination mode. And it's going to say to you the condition in colors of your car. But that's very easy, because if you need to work on the brakes, you can see right away what is broken on the brake system. So you just click it, you get something like this. And here you can see right away some red. So this is broken. Here at the back you can see some red that is broken. And if you come here to the other side, you can see it's red too. So that's the second tip guys, very easy and you can see right away what is broken on your car and most of the time you need to replace that part to complete the order. The third beginner tip, uh, it's, it's like two tips that I'm going to give you guys in one because in the same menu. So what is the biggest problem that I saw? So I got the car here, but what do I need to do on the car? Because if you take the order, it's very vague. It's just saying there is a brake problem or something. Because this car got the brake problem. So there is a very cool feature that you can do that makes your life a lot easier. You right click once again on the body of the car. Then you go to car status. And here you can see everything what you need to do. So if you come here to the order, you see that you need to replace five things on the brake system. Here they are. But that's not all. There is another feature that makes life a lot easier. If you just click on it, you will mark them. And if you go to the car, you will see right away visual what kind of part you need to replace. That's not all. There is something very cool here too. Here you can see what uh what you get pay out what amount of money that you put in it uh, so uh, if you buy something it's coming here too so all the info about the order is here too if we go now to the car i'm going to put the car a little bit higher so that you guys can see it a little bit better so this car had like a brake system problem so if I come now under the car and I click on the section that is for the brakes, you can see right away here is a blue. At the back you see it a little bit better. So I need to replace this, this, and I need to replace this. It's very handy if you don't know anything about cars. You can just mark it. You go to the car and you think, oh, that's the part that I need to replace. So this makes life a lot easier. It's a little bit game breaking in my opinion because uh, you don't need to learn anything anymore. But it's, it's for beginners guys, it's so essential because otherwise you will get frustrated. The next part guys, how you need to buy stuff. So it's a little bit a chain that I'm going to say to you guys. So we are back at the car and first of all what you need to do is try to empty your... Uh, what is it called let me your shopping list so you can get an item you put it off the car then you can put it on the shopping list and then you can activate the shopping list on the the buy menu it's very handy it goes really quick but you need to know the chain so i'm going 
to the shopping list now right click once again shopping list and i delete everything so if you start on a new car delete everything on the shopping list otherwise you're not going to know what is for for this car or what was for the previous car so the shopping list is now uh yeah deleted so what we are going to do is i'm going to get uh yeah my tires off really quick So here you can see it. So let's replace the brake system. So I'm going to take this off. And you see this is still at 62%. So normally I don't replace it. So now the item is in my inventory. So here it is. What can you do now? Now you need to replace it. So you just right click on it. You do this. And now it's added to the shopping list. Then you need to go here. To the computer you just click on it and then you got all shops here you need to take the right shop otherwise the shopping list is not working i know that my item is in the main shop you just take the main shop then you just tap open shopping list and you can see here is my part you just click on it you do this you buy part and that's what you need to do that's how simple it is it goes really quick and then you buy it, you put it on the car, and it's done. So what do you need to do? Be sure that you reset your shopping list. Be sure that you're in the right uh, shop. Because if I go now here to body shop, and I do this, it's not going to work. Uh, because I'm not in the right shop. So you always need to be in the right shop. You cannot be on the menu even. So if you do this, it's not going to work. So be sure that you're in the right shop, and that's how you buy a part. The next tip is uh, yeah, skills and how you can upgrade your garage. So where do you need to go? So you come here to a toolbox and there you see a lot of skills. So you can unlock all the skills. I'm not sure what is very good. So I had one skill point. It starts at the bottom. You can go up. You just click on it and you see here the cost of the skills. So at the bottom they are only one. And if you go to the top they are six. I think that every level you get a skill point or maybe later you get some more skill points. Here you can see what you are buffing. That's very nice. So I took one skill point and I took this one. 5% discount on parts you buy. I think at the start that's not so bad because uh, yeah, you, you need to get your wealth going up. Uh, then the other part is here at the top. If you take this, garage and tools, you can buy your stuff. So... If you see here, salvaging, it's 2,500 uh, credits. You just buy it and you got it. I still need to unlock it. I can just show you guys it, how you need to do it. So that's how you need to get skills uh, up. And that's how you need to buy new stuff for your garage. At the start, you probably don't need to do that. But I just want to show you guys it, that you know where you can find it. The last tip for the video, it's uh, number 6, so I wanted to do 7, but I put 2 with each other. Uh, it's a system in the game. I was reading today at the Steam forums, uh, some guys that were asking questions about stuff that got a tutorial in the game. So there is no an entire tutorial menu, so you just go to escape, to the menu, then you take tutorials, and here you can see, for example, how do I need to exchange oil? It's a nice video that you get, just watch it. And uh, it will solve a lot of uh, just basic problems that starter people will have. So that was the video guys, my first video. Uh, I'm going to play the game a lot more because I'm enjoying myself a lot. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Have fun with the game, it's very good. And I see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.